ladies and gentlemen, children, boys and girls, it is that time once again for the amazing and awesome. Hey, don't you think you're blowing him up a little bit too much? Well, yeah, isn't, isn't that what our job is? To be like, he's hype man and be like super hype and be like, yeah, I'm hype. Yeah, but like, don't you think like, it's a little too much? I mean like, it's cool and all, but like, shouldn't you just be like, Hey, it's Zig, start the show. Yeah, but that's not being a hype man, that's being a man man. Oh, okay, well, um, do you mind if I give it a try? Alright, as long as you're a hype man about it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. Here it is. On with the show. God, you suck. Hi, everyone. It is that time. Hopefully, everyone's having a good day so far today. Wow. Our music is loud as shit today. I don't know why. But we'll go with it. Uh, but yeah, we are live. If I can get in here. I'm in here now. Hello. I'm in here. Uh, let's get thank yous out to the people who instantaneously host. There we go. Hey, Sonny now, Lavi Fur, Alexander Seal, Pyro, Pixie. Thank you guys so much for the host. It is truly appreciated. Uh, also, a big shout out to my friend Jen. It's her birthday. She turned an age. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm not giving out people's ages. I'm just going to say it's an age. All right, let's get into these games like post haste. Because, like, I know, I know I'm running up against a window right now. I know I cannot stay up as late as I did yesterday. Holy shit. That one o'clock hurt me today. And then on top of it, we had a tropical storm today. And so I got soaked. And then my, my car almost got flooded out. And to get to my car, the sewer lines backed up. So I had to walk through sewage. And so then I smell like sewage all day. And I came home and boiled my skin off. Because it's just like, I've been in sewage all day at that point. And I'm just like, ugh. So who knows? Maybe I have become tempered in raw poo. And so the next time some disease tries to like enter my body, the, the now tempered in raw poo antiviruses, antibodies, is just going to be like, What's up, bitch? I'm gonna wax your ass and put you straight into his colon. And Byers will be like, Oh, shit! It'd be great. <laughs> oh, God. George Carlin did a great bit on that. I'm 100% I'm paraphrasing his lines, but I don't care. George Carlin's a badass. All right. We good? Um, yeah, that's fine. Wrong. Oh, uh, final announcement. All music today, as always, whenever we play League, all music is brought to you by NCS No Copyright Sounds. It's a group of artists under this title that go out of their way to make sure their music is out there and for people to love and enjoy. And all they ask for you, if you're going to use or listen to their music, is just tell people about them, post, and say how awesome they are. There you go. I love them. It's not just because it's free. I've actually been listening to their music. It's actually really funny. If you listen to EDM and house music a lot, you'd be surprised how many songs you know that are under the NCS flag. Where's the bear? Give me the bear. I want the bear. Oh, 
Mundo think you a big sissy. Yes. Damn right I am. Mm, never mind, we can't play the bear. They banned the bear. It's like they sensed the bear. They sensed it. Damn screen snipers! How dare they? I want to pick. So far, they're all AD. Which makes me a happy boy. I think we're against set. It's cool. We got this shit. God, we are mostly AD too, so like that's why the Ramus is there. That was a delayed beep, but we'll accept it. Are we against that? Yeah, we're against that. Yay, yeah, set. Love set. I think he wins. It's abuse call. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're being so mean to me! Why are you so mean? The feeling. 
No, you don't have ignite. I think I lost a shitload there. Yeah, I lost. A, I lost a whole. Okay, cool. Using that freaking the call healing. Nice. Um, you know what? Let's undo that. Actually, no, that'd still probably be a good solid first buy. Because it'll help me protect me against him. That's not good. <laughs> that is definitely not good. You got, you got two kills there? Not good. <laughs> Good times.
Like I'm I'm starting like so defensive. Gotcha. What a waste of frickin' time. Oh, he's building Triforce first. Interesting. Slowly but surely. Oh, we got the Ramus. This is such a waste of time because he left. And the problem is, at the end of the day, he'll get hit with Lever Buster and then have to do the I promise never to disappear from a game ever again. And then they'll be like, okay, we'll forgive you. Punk. Oh, all right. Back we go. The problem is Fizz has basically had a free lane. Alright, you have your Triforce now.
I forgot with uh, Ergot. Damn. Makes me so sad. My ping seven million. It's awful. Got 10% cooldown. We're about to have 20% cooldown. I can't believe he left. Well, that was 39 minutes of my day just wasted. get a better match this time. I wonder if, I wonder I've been taking Zin mid. I wonder if Voli would work mid. Big old bulky ass bear. Only problem is he has no inbuilt gen, uh, regen, like Zen does.
Oh, the Annie. That's Annie mid. Okay. Hmm. Against an Annie. I'm halfway tempted to to to, to pull out the bear. But let's just do Morgana. See, I would have chose Zen, but I know Zen, it would just be I'd go in and get bared. And I'd have to, like, go so magic uh, damage protective. Not that it would be bad for their team, but. Actually, that would have been pretty solid because their entire team is AP except for Kane. And at that point, if Kane went blue Kane, I would just laugh at him. <laughs> just laugh at him. Hopefully this runs a little bit smoother. and the that. Nice. Meanwhile, Draven quit.
Yo, that tormented soil got me the kill. Wow, we've gotten a lot of plate damage already. Dink. Dink. Oh, we're gonna get another one off? Wow, that's messed up. How you doing this evening? Uh, did you get my last message? Of course you're working hard. Okay. That was my big concern because I was like, I, I know I forgot to get a badge. I plan to. How's your ankle doing? You gonna actually be at work tomorrow? I think your partner needs a hug. Bros and yes, I'll be at work. I'd rather not, but it is what it is. You do realize you can call out for two days in a row and it still count as one call out. And and you still don't need a doctor's note, right? You you do know that, right? You and me both, Tim Doc. You and me both.
What is that? Nebulized Narcan? Hey, that's a thing? Hey, what's up, male? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm greeting for this last plate. Murder, death, kill. You know what? You can quote that movie all you want, but until you tell me how the sheet shells work, it won't matter. Poor Annie. Let me poor Annie. I have enough TP to survive the great. Well, you also buy for like a, a family of eight every time for your family of two. Because you learned long ago that buying in bulk saves money. The builders taught you well. Well, that, yes. And having a garage also helps. I can see that.
Damn. I got greedy there. So greedy. So greedy. I'm drinking my monster away from people pooping on the floor. Where am I from? New Jersey. The great state of New Jersey. If you can refer to it as the great state of New Jersey. Also, be glad you didn't work today. There was so much flooding today. Um, the flooding at work was so bad that at one point, um, we we had to recall people back to base to move cars or else people were gonna lose cars today. Stroke stretchers. Money. Wait, how did you find out stroke stretchers float? What is your job? Um, I'm an EMT. For the great city of... City. Um, your EMT cert was older than mine by a year. He started at 16, I started at 16. He's two years older than me. Yeah, you're 94, I was 90. You want to know and I will congratulate you when you get out of it. Oh, no. Well, no, no. 
It's okay to be in EMS for life. Just always aspire to be more. Like, take that paramedic course. Or take that RN course and become a, 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 a field nurse. Like, you can be a field nurse like Rick is. Trust me, I am a firm believer that a couple years became a couple years too many for me. Um, he pretty much figured out that, um, who the, uh, incumbent is going to be. And he's kind of upset about it. He's not 100% sure, but he's he's got enough that he's pretty bummed and pissed about it. Yeah, I, I figured. Like, I had a feeling that that's how it was going to play out. Cause that's a... I know. Just like mine that went. I know in the giant corporate monster, I will never get it because I'm not a yes man. I I would buck the system no matter what, what my role is. I buck the system.
Oh, they killed off our team, so. Yeah. Disappeared. Wow. You really you really dropped that one, huh? Sim? And I think that's why I liked the old managers choosing of who got it because they they wanted people that bucked the system. You know, like they wanted the people that were willing to stand up for what was right. They didn't just want some yes man. But I think that's why, like, the, the, the older company had such a pulse on the employee base. Because, like, if you have a bunch of people that are told, think for yourself... And tell us how we can improve. Like, that's huge. Oh my god. True story. Hey, that was, that was, that's another example of times where times that I thought outside the box and and that bucked the system. Oh god. Okay, so Simdoc and I used to volunteer together at a first aid squad when we were kids. Tom, Tom slash Simdoc went on to be a big glorious doctor at a out at a South Brunswick South Bronx facility. Years and years and years later, I met Sass Monster at my current job. Well, you gotta remember, Sam, it's not 30. Because you gotta remember, you have to account for the time that I I uh, had to um, steal you through the witness drop recovery program. Because for a while there, you were, you were my brother's bestie. <laughs> Slash mass tutor. <laughs> Little goblins. Cause I'll be with 
They're called creep. But yeah, Simdoc and I were originally not friends. He was actually friends with my brother. And late in life, uh, basically when he went off to college and then I went off to college, um, the divide happened. That usually happens when people go off to college. And it was at that point that Simdoc and I had very similar aspirations, beliefs, things. And so the joke goes that a long time ago, there was a hostage negotiation that happened. And in the hostage negotiation, I exchanged best friends. So my best friend at the time became my brother's best friend. And Simdoc, which was my brother's best friend, became my best friend. And thus that at his wedding, during my best man speech, I proceeded to explain to people that we were friends via a hostage negotiation that occurred. And that I feel I made out in the deal. Who? If you're asking how it occurred, um, the how is really simple. My best friend's wants and desires are more in line with my brother. And Simdoc's wants and desires were more in line with me. And so it was just literally a switch happened. <laughs> There's only one friend I have more that is a friend longer than than Simdoc. But I'm much more distant with him because with him, life happened. I.e. he had two children. And when people have children, distance happens. Because then, you know, your focus switches from me and my personal life to me and my kids. But it's really cool because like when I finally get to talk to him, it it's really cool because it's like, it's like when we, we meet up and we talk, it's like it was yesterday. He was my friend. I explained his story. Shit, what was it? Like four or five streams ago, when I was talking about the guy I threatened with a spoon, that's him. He's he is the one that like talked me out of a bad spot in my head mentally. Well, kids aren't for everyone. I think I think it's a fallacy to be like to just immediately assume everyone is going to be like, yeah, kids.
Me? No, I don't have any kids. Oh, yeah, so. They're like little zombies trying to eat you. I think I think there's better ways to describe them, but sure. <laughs> I I I had one friend that that did the uh, referred to children as just little parasites that suck the life out of the the beings they're attached to. Sam the chicken. <laughs> What are you talking about? Who? Who's where? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? But yeah, that's the one I always laughed at was the whole, ah, uh, yes, they're just parasites that drain the life out of the beings that they're attached to. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, and then he went on and had two children, so. Hey, it's free if you have Twitch Prime. If you have an Amazon.com account and have Amazon Prime and you lick it with your Twitch account, you get Twitch Prime for free, of which gives you one month subscription to give to your favorite streamer. <laughs> I did it. I did the meme. The funny part is I actually, I get three cents more per sub. That's a Twitch Prime su subscription. Three cents, three whole cents. Big, big fan of that three cents. When in doubt, three cents. I did it. That was that was easy enough. I got that free 25 mana. That first comet, so I've got a hundred percent damage. That's what it's all about right there. The free stacks. God, I suck. There we go.
God, I am sucking so hard. Go, little minions. Punch him! I am old man gaming. I don't I don't release my information like age wise online. It's too easy to dox someone when you start giving information like that. Just know I am I am definitely above the age bracket of the average age of a Twitch streamer. Yes, I'm fifty four. I'm 108. I'm actually a vampire. Well, Seth was my teacher. There's a reference for you. Well, I could say for certain that shit runs in my family. I can I can 100% say I I look the way I do because of my grandfather. My grandfather was old Irish, like really old Irish. He would he would he worked three full-time jobs. Which I always laughed at whenever, like, I would hear the stories about his three full-time jobs. He considered a full-time job anytime, like, he didn't get a chance to sleep. <laughs> but that was also before, like... But yeah, he so he would get done with his job, and he have what's called a boiler maker. Now, if you don't know what a boiler maker is, that's a drink that'll put a hair on your chest. And to give you an idea, so basically. My my grandfather, when he had my mother, or let's let's start the other way. My grandmother, when she had my mother, uh, one of one of uh, I forget how many exact children it was, right? But the the typical like Roaring Twenties Irish immigration childhood levels you know so when my grandmother had my my mother she was 21 years old 21 my grandfather when he had my mother was 76 now if you look at old pictures of my grandfather If you look at old pictures of my grandfather, he does not look 76 next to this 21-year-old girl. Now, don't get me wrong, he also does not look like he's 20. He looks like he's in his 40s, at best. But again, he was like...
And so, like, that's the whole thing is when it comes down to it is just, like, I thank him. Yeah. 76-year-old man. Live long enough to hold me. You know, so like, just just picture it, you know, like. But that was also a much different time than now, you know. And he was still working, you know, you gotta remember, 76. Dude, you dead. Please tell me you got him. I'm okay with dying as long as you guys got him. But yeah, so... In the greater scheme of things... Like... I look at that and I'm like... Average... Average... Average streamer age... Is I think 23... Maybe even younger. Okay, so the average age of a content creator. So this is YouTube. This is Twitch. This is any anything that's under the content creator. The average age is 25. That's the average. I am definitely out of that bracket. <laughs> but it's cool, you know? But that's why, like, I don't, I don't feel the need to have this be the F show. Because, like, do you have the average of gaming creators? Uh, uh, 21. So the average age of a streamer on Twitch is 21 years old. So even four years younger than that. Streaming and content creation is a young person's world. And for the most part, I I I have There we go. Good morning. Yep. Even even if I don't look unique. I mean hell, you gotta you gotta remember. I I went bad I went back to college. Like I went to co I went to college, then I left college because life happened. Paid off the first student loan, then went back to college, got my degree, and that second time I went back to college, oh my god, I was what was called an adult learner. And I felt every bit of that adult learner title. Especially when, like, I was in my chemistry course, and, like, they'd be like, Everyone knows Adragadra's number, right? And I'm like, what? You know, 
I had your Codger's number. And I'm like, what? What the f is an Adric Codger number? Or, or my next favorite was like, I was in my history course, and they called it um, uh, BCE and CE. And I'm like, what? What does that even mean? And I remember I took my professor to the side. I'm like, listen. I'm an adult learner, and I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. What the hell is BCE, and what the hell is CE? And he's like, "Oh, we don't we don't use the BCAD anymore. It's 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 just common error and before common error." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, we're rem it removes the Christ portion." I'm like, "Oh, okay." But like it's just like stuff like that. I had no freaking clue. I was I was I was clueless when I went back to college, which is fine because I came I came equipped with things that like the average college student didn't have, like the knowledge that a professor does not have to be my enemy. I can actually be friends with the professor. Who would have thought? And I can tell you, I, I made a lot of really good friends that were professors. And a lot of them drink way too much. <laughs> but nothing's better than when, like, the semester ends and you've been friendly with your professor the entire time and and um and like the semester ended the grading's did and then I get the phone call hey uh Steve uh you want to go out for some drinks you know now that the semester's over and I used to laugh and go, well, it depends. Did you fail me? And they'd be like, ha, 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 ha. of course we did. And then I'd laugh and then they would laugh. And then the next thing I know, I would, I would then go and have drinks with them. <laughs> oh my God. The words have massively changed. And then when you start looking at things like, um, uh, core math and stuff like that. If you've never seen it before, it's it's alien. But yeah, that was that was history for me, man. Like I'll never forget I'll never forget history was the first one. When they were doing the B C E C E I'm like, oh what? Why 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 are you talking about? But what, what is this man? Please, old professor man, help me out. Or like the other thing is like, the, the other bonus that would come from being like an adult learner student is like, they knew I was working a full-time job. And so like, if I was just like, listen, I'm not gonna be able to complete this assignment in time because like, my job sucks. Most of the time they were like, all right, cool. 
We understand, fam. That's why I was I was grateful for all my all my professors. This, I'll tell you right now, the professors from the first time to college to the professors on the second time to college, oh my god, completely different monsters. Uh, how long are we gonna be up? Well, it depends. I'm supposed to be in bed 20 minutes from now. We saw how well that worked last night. Uh, what do you mean by which time was the worst? Like, which time in my life was the worst? Which college year was the worst? Like, there's a lot of the worst there could be. Like, was it the first year, first time through college, or the second time through college was the worst? Which one of those? I'll tell you right now, first time through college, because I was not prepared, I was not ready. I was not mentally set for, for doing that. First time. First time was definitely the worst and hardest. But it's the one I have, I'm filled with the most regret. Because that's when I was going to school for film. And it's one of the things I love about this is this calls back to those days when I was doing television, film, editing, productions, because like I'm doing audio controls, I'm doing video controls. Like it literally is television and film productions. But instead of like having a, an actor or a cast or something, it's just me. You know, like I would, I would have loved to continue doing that. But like the problem, the problem with television and film productions is television and pr film productions is one hundred percent not what you know, but who you know. You can have zero experience doing editing. You can have zero experience doing photography. You can have zero experience doing lighting or grip work. But if you know someone, they'll get you on that set. And the problem was, I was so far removed from like film and television productions 
that like all of my old like contacts were so dried up that even if I wanted to go back to it, I couldn't. So that's why, like, when I made the decision, I when I when I made the decision I was going to start streaming, I had no clue, zero, zero clue that this would re-spark that passion for television and film productions in me. And it, it never, I like, it didn't even dawn on me. Because you got to remember, when when I was in school, I was I was Mr. Theater. I was in the plays. I was in the musicals. I was. You know, like I was, I was the guy, you know? You know, like, oh, we have this new show coming up that we need recorded. Get Steve. You know, oh, we got, you know, this musical coming up. Get Steve. But at the same point, I was on the other side of the, the lens also. Because I was I was in marching band. I was in concert band. I was in collect, select choir. You know, I was, I was in all these different things. You know, like... That, that was the acting portion also. And so that's why, like, this... This whole streaming thing is literally allows me to do exactly what I was doing back then but have had more time to refine because I'm gonna tell you right now this is my first ever radio show <laughs> right here this is my first radio show I ever did back on W W uh, what was it uh, W G K R gothic night radio and I was so bad holy shit I was so bad like I was I was god awful Like I was I was god awful <laughs> Like there was there was no excuse But like, like that was my first, that was my first radio show, was Gothic Night Radio. And it was awful, awful, holy shit. Because I walked into it unprepared, not knowing what to do. I didn't have a script. I didn't know, like I, I haven't developed the skills I have right now, right? Just press buttons. Oh my god. I look back at that, like, that tape is a good memory to me because it shows how far I've come since then. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, um, Simdoc is going to hate that I'm going to bring this up. But Simdoc is the one who said it. One of the biggest things I have going for me is I can sit in front of people and just talk and just entertain and just be me. And quite literally, when I had that first radio show, I didn't, I, I didn't know how to do that. I, I didn't know how to do that at all. I was, 
That was so bad. Like, it was bad. I, I didn't have that skill developed to go in front of a mic without anything planned and just go. Now, I can turn these lights on, hit the go button, and be like, Sup, f***ers. <laughs> That's how I should start all streams, right, Danny? Yeah. Yeah, f***ers. Um... If I wanted to try Echo, would you, uh... That's fine. I'm Volley. Yeah, for ganking? You saw the last two times I played Volley, I had 16 kill games. And sure I'm, I'm okay ganking. I'm just saying I'm not very comfortable on him, so... It's just you might be against Nunu. Uh, actually, you're against Shaco. Wait, they banned three mids, so I don't know who you're against. But yeah, so it's just like, when I started the stream, September 1st, 2017, the first thing I did was I went into my keepsake box and I got the tape. Pulse fire, I think? When did that come out? A while ago. And I put the tape on my shelf right there as a reminder of this is where I started. And now I have all these recordings. Because I'll tell you right now, episode one of this stream to now episode 1044 are two totally different monsters. Siegfried episode one was bad. Bad. Siegfried now? I talk to myself all the trying. time. <laughs> it's all about talking Andy's to yourself. The fact that you have a... Oh yeah, I, I, because like, it's one of those, how do I put it? When, when I made the decision that I was going to clean up the channel and like make everything safe for work, safe for school, I knew every once in a while I would want to say, F but I thought it would be awesome to be able to mouth it and be like, F you mother F <laughs> because then it gives you the hit of it. Without actually saying it. I just fucking say it. Yeah, I know. I know you just say it. <laughs> I like having a button. Well, that and this. You suck. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna get some Nunu. Nunu -nu is gonna be a little bit of a problem. I think he out jungles me in the early, and then I out jungle him later. I'm just trying. Well, uh, AD, AP, AP, AD. They're split. Why'd they have to split their damage pool? Why couldn't they just all be armor, all magic resist? You have a whole, I have a, I have a whole soundboard. But the soundboard, the reason, like, if you notice, episode, like, 10, episode 10 was when I incorporated a soundboard. Because the soundboard reminded me of my old radio show, because I had a soundboard then. I had an old... God, what the hell was it? 1998 IBM ThinkPad laptop that I bought for $200 used. And I loaded on it a shitload of MP3s I downloaded off of Napster. And that was my soundboard. And so, like, when I started this, I was like, I, like, that first, I said, when I first started the streaming to now, two totally different monsters, like, I was like, there's something missing, I need something, and then I was like, the soundboard, and that was, that was the first thing I f***ing got, was the soundboard. <laughs> it's really funny, because Danny does not get to hear the bleep, she gets, just gets to hear the sound effect of me making... Mm -hmm. The, the beginning and end of it. <laughs> Who's playing on the goddamn potato? For me, it doesn't matter because I'm just drawing. <laughs> it matters to me. I'm supposed to be in bed seven minutes from now. <laughs> it's a weekend. Yeah, I work tomorrow. 
a weekend. Yeah, yeah. You know when my weekend starts? Monday. Monday's my Saturday. Tuesday's my Sunday. Then I work Wednesday and Thursday. And then I'm off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. As much as I hate my schedule, I really can't... Comp like, uh, on one week, I love my schedule. And on my second week, I hate my schedule. But yeah, it took me it took me a while to master the f because you have to like mouth it and you have to add that f and the k at the end. Hey, I get the I, I get to start blue this time. Wait, why why are we invading? They have the better invade comp. I'm but we have blitz. Oh my god, he wraps the whole way running. Yeah. I don't get to play him. Alright, Mel, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, someone stayed. That that was glorious, I guess. There goes our eighty carry. And Caitlyn got the kill. Great. New new flash, I think. Or Garen. Well, new new flash because I got the bite into him, and if I got a second bite, he died. Oh, you want to hear it without the... It, it's basically... You f oh, shit. I'm against the Lux. That's an even easier gank. It's an easy gank. It's a hard lane. Easy gank. So yeah, there you go. That's what it sounds like. Wow, Nunu's on your booty already. You okay? Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> she got is very low. That moment, I wish I was uh, level three. Hey, I got level three. I realized I didn't take flash. What do you have? Ignite heal? That's, that's not good. I'll grab this. I was going to flash ignite her, and then I realized I don't have it, and then I healed myself. Did <laughs> you flash healed? No, I, I healed, ignited her instead of flash. Oh, her, got it. And then died. Because it was not enough of a distance to get away from Nunu. on this one probably. probably us. No he's not. That's really, really a problem on Echo. 
The only thing I can think of is like try and survive until you get your um, your dash item. Oh, I have dash. Like no, I'm talking about the, the the dash item. Get a ward on freaking dragon because Nuna is gonna try and solo that bitch. One, Nunu? Why didn't you do it? So they ping for me to come, and I'm like, all right, so they're set to go in. And so I go in, and then I look over after they're not coming in, and notice Draven has like zero health. Okay, note the self. Look at health level before you go in next time. Draven's staying with zero health. It's like he wants to feed. Like, she's gonna get level 6 and then, like, kill him. sit bot lane with no health before you uh you know get ganked bro what's up good night Four seconds early. Hope they're not pinging for me because they lost their their gank privileges after that last one. I will choose when I gank for them. is pretty low, by the way. Sorry, I was killing Garen. I'm just letting you know. Please end the game at 15, please. I hate this game, please. 
Wow. That's some positive reinforcement. Oh yeah, she is super low. Uh, is that Nunu? Mm-hmm. I'm coming. Good job. Thank you. Heal came in useful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even use Ignite! New meta! <laughs> new meta? Oh my god, please no. <laughs> There's too many new metas going on right now, alright. Garen's mid. Maybe they're switching up? New new is at this. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Got a trade. I figure it's better to get the trade than race there and get nothing. Alright. Okay, Lux is going back. I'm gonna push this. God. Oh, she healed. Poor Nunu. Two levels up on him. Well, I've made uh, Caitlyn blow build summoners to survive. And well, I didn't blow anything. And that happened. So, yeah. I think they, they've given up on bottom. I don't. No, they're going back. Okay. I don't know if I can do anything about this. That's the wrong one. Draven's starting to get online now. That one gank might have been enough. Nope. Not expecting miracles to start. I want miracles.
I only got two levels on Nunu. What? Got her flash. Garen's here. Garen is just constantly mid. Well, he won his lane already. You do not deserve my buff. I like how you ping me question mark when I took the red buff. Like, dude, you have five deaths. Shit ain't safe on you. Forty seconds until next drag. Starting to be. Oh. He still has five deaths. I said starting, not is. I guess that's a fair statement. Like I said, we get rid of Caitlyn summoners. You can't do shit. And this is my lane. Don't don't ping me off my lane. Uh oh. I'm coming. Alright, so we got that now. Heal down on, uh... Problem is, again. Problem is they're gonna get Drake off of that. No. I mean, it's a yeah, mountain. It's, it, it's a mountain, so I don't care as much. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's gonna make Nunu tankier, but for the rest of the team, it's like nothing. Unless Lunun is not building tank, which he is. Yeah, there it goes. Um, what are they fighting over? That's what they've been doing the entire time. Is just fighting the fight. I don't know why. I can't do much. Uh, that was me in the AD. Oh, he wants to end at 20 now. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Um... We're still okay. Why do you wait to ult until after I'm done? Oh god. I didn't think he was gonna survive that long. I can't fight it though.
<laughs> the tale of two people healing. <laughs> That's what that was. Um. You don't? Wow. They're gonna die in him. Oh, thank God he's not a freaking. He's a tank. Oh. Mm. Most of the damage is AP, so. Nunu's dead for 10. I'm up. I'm heading. But he'll be up by the time I'm up. I'm there. Oh, Blitzcrank is dead. game and start a new one away from them Promise I have because to go to bed. Nah. not nah do they drain the hell out of me I don't know if there you know this but there was a giant monsoon today thank god you're not AP Nunu if you were AP Nunu everyone would have died there so much further ahead in CS if it wasn't for bottom lane coming in and just trying to force me to bottom. I'm very glad you were not able to hear that sound effect. Why? I may have pressed the giggity giggity goo button. Because they were trying to force you to bottom. Okay. Never mind. No, I know where you're going at. I just don't care. <laughs> oh. I was like... Oh, 
Hey Blitz, we need you to like land some badass cues. I don't know why we consider that a badass cue, but it was indeed oh, something. News. I still haven't fed. Which, considering my stamina's is more to say than our drinking. Chaka's gonna try and steal this shit. Eight hundred. I miss smite. So we still got it. Yeah, I don't know the volley damage for the combo on how much damage it does. So like I miss I miscalculated. I think no, you and the guys are not gonna be able to win off of that. We're two big dudes just running down the street together. Like two giant linebackers just walking towards Dragon. Does push and get the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, Shaco has See? traps all over here. Holy shit. Didn't I tell you though that it was starting? Wow. He carried. I was feeding my ass off, and then the jungler and top laner and the mid laner helped me get nice and strong, and I'm gonna claim it all as myself. I'm letting him die. Good. He's the great carrier, he said. Problem is he keeps killing people. And not dying. Yeah, because he's fed now. He just got punched this bunch. And hopefully I break this before that goes down. Nope. I carried this shit. Sure.
Uh, yeah, I should probably go to bed. Feeds a half game, gets ganked to get them back in, and blows Caitlyn Summoners win lane. Tells team to go F themselves because his team got him set up to not suck Draven 2020. <laughs> oh, man. What was his name, anyway? Oh, they were a duo bot lane. Yep. That's super nice of them. That's not my best game of uh, Volley Bear, but... I was trying out Tank Volley Bear to see how I felt about it. Not as much of a fan. If I'm being completely honest. Okay. Um, oh, that's a nice report. Wait, what happened? Reported the Draven. Oh. What'd you report him for? Negative attitude? Verbal abuse? Yeah, I'll throw that on there. There was, there was quite a few instances where he was pretty much an asshole. Not just that one. That's just the one that was like, okay. Poor Nunu, man. <laughs> I'm level 16. He's level 12. <laughs> <laughs> he just never could catch up. After that one death, it was just over. But um no, I think I think this is gonna be it for me tonight. Unfortunately. Nope. I have to. I, nope. I stayed up super late last night. I need to make up and get at least the extra thirty three minutes sleep. <laughs> Specifically thirty three. Well, because like I know if I play a game it's gonna be another hour, which is gonna make it 1.30 <laughs> which means by the time I lay down it'll be 2 o'clock which means I will have 3 hours sleep do you want me to die? at least enough time for a game do you want me to die? nah here's a better question if I get into a massive car wreck because of that are you willing to support me for the rest of my life? I know the answer is no so that being said that will be my last game for this evening <laughs> See how this works? <laughs> and if you did I'm say yes, support myself. And if you did say yes, then then it becomes okay. Let me uh, draw up a contract real quickly. If Steven blasts an ambulance into another vehicle tomorrow, losing his job, one Danny Dawnstar. Oh, specifically into another ambulance. Okay. No, into another car. I say car. If he takes his ambulance and blasts it into another car. Actually, you said into another ambulance. I think. Well, I can do that too. You, if you want, I can take out a whole ambulance. <laughs> like, oh, it's time. Let me plow this into the ambulance. <sighs> Good morning. Mm -hmm. But, alrighty. Thank you so much for the games. I'll be uh, going yeah. to bed. If we're making it games, you have one more. Nope. You just said thank you for the games. We did games. We had two games. Um. Since when? I thought we had two games. No. Oh, well. See? Further proof. <laughs> further proof that I am tired. That did was you, my first game tonight. Did you know there was a friggin' Hextech Nocturne? No, because I haven't seen most of the skins lately. Yeah, I, I, when I was rolling for the, the things, it came up. I'm like, wait, what? Hextech what? Hold on, let's see real fast. Not including prestige, how many I'm behind before you go. Okay, so there's four per row, right? Mm hmm. So that's one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows, six rows, seven rows, eight rows, nine rows, ten rows. So that's 40, 43 skins, not including any prestige. That only needs, um, what is it, three shards per? So, 43, three shards. It's only 126 skins. Shards. Which well, I don't have. You need to start watching all of those League of Legends streamers and get those RP cards that are out there. The rare RP cards that don't really exist anymore. I miss those days. 
I've just been playing TFT. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You enjoy that. <laughs> eh, I enjoy it. It's really easy to pass time with. <laughs> so you're saying it's like Reddit? I've never done Reddit. Oh, yeah. Well, don't. Because if you ever do Reddit, your, your soul will be sucked into it. And the next thing you'll know, it'll be a week from now. You'll be hungry, deprived, thirsty, malnourished. Wow. In that specific order? Mm-hmm. Yep. Sounds fun. Let's go. All right. But thank you so much. I will see you later. Possibly. Alrighty. I mean, the weather's supposed to continue to be shit today, so it's not like I'm doing anything. Is it? I thought that was Here all supposed to... I thought that was all supposed to stop around noon. Alright, enough for me to be in pain. Is that better? Uh, hold on. Oh, no, this is important because I want to know how much I'm going to suffer tomorrow. Oh, it's raining wait. from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. here. Thunderstorms. 7 p.m., yeah. All right, so basically my entire shift tomorrow also. Yep, and then Sunday it's supposed to be gorgeous. I don't care about Sunday. I do, because then I get to bring my puppies to my families for them to run around. But, alrighty, I will talk to you later. Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. Where's that at? All right, guys. Uh, if you didn't know who that was, that's Danny Dawnstar, the um, Grand Poobah extraordinaire of Bully Free Twitch. Uh, I'll give a whole big speech and statement about them during our closing. But unfortunately, I have to bring the stream to a close. We're actually 32 minutes over. Usually, I want to be in bed by midnight. But we're a little over. I wanted to get one more game in there. Um, so... If you are new to the program, make sure you mouse over the follow, the subscribe, the bell, whatever icon you happen to have, whether it's on Twitch or YouTube. If you're on YouTube, you guys know the big speech, press doodly-doos and bells and all other stuff. Make sure you use the hashtag, I'm a jumpin' because I'm a star in your comment, and I'll make sure I respond to your comment and give you a thumbs up. Uh, also, at the end of the stream, I do roll the credits so anyone who tips, donates, subscribes, does anything during the stream to help support the stream, host, anything. I will give you a secondary shout out at the end as a way of saying thank you for helping support the stream and making the stream continue to be awesome. Other than that, guys, let's do the end of credits. Let's thank some people and let's get the hell out of Dodge. Here we go, guys. Down below. Is that thank you? Yes, it is. The ending music is brought to you by Electrama, the name of the song is Summer Vibes. If you enjoy the music, make sure you look them up on Spotify or YouTube. Their music is free to listen to, free to download, and if you enjoy the music, make sure you support the artist. They're badasses for having their entire catalog out there for free. Also, support your local and online artists. Don't just go to the store and buy some bullshit-ass copy pasta and hang it up in your wall. Want to go to a local or online artist, have them make something original for you. That way, you can support the local and online arts and not some bullshit-ass Xerox printed copy of the same damn thing. Also, I want to say thank you to It's Too Late and Alex Crumbley Lavi for Daniel Triple O Seven, Alexandra Studio, and Pyro Pixie. Thank you guys so much for the host today. It is really appreciated, and it's for all you guys for this evening. Shouty, you the best. You the you the best. And finally, a big shout out to the Bully Free Twitch Network. The Bully for Twitch Network is channeled much like my own, where you can go enjoy yourself and not have to worry about ass goblins or your phone because that's how they have fun. If those are channels that you enjoy, make sure you look for the hashtag Bully Free Twitch on Twitter. Give some love. Tell my I sent you. Ah, but guys, if you're going to bed much like me, sleep well and sweet dreams. But if you're planning to set and play some more games, whether it's League of Legends, Dota, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, Pokemon, or any other games that are out there, have fun. Because at the end of the day, it's a game. And that's what it's all about, is having fun. And with that, I'm going to bring episode 1044, Bring on the Thunder, to a close. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your time here with me. Really hope to see you here tomorrow night to go live. Until then, guys, have a great rest of your evening. Good night, everyone. Button!
Ah, button. 